Tonight, we're learning more about what happened moments before a deadly accident at a Tico plant yesterday and about the men killed while on the job. Our Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live at Tico headquarters in downtown Tampa, where Tico's CEO talked about the situation and how everyone is coping tonight. Brenda Lee. He visited the plant earlier today, was able to get a better picture of what happened, but knowing exactly what went wrong could be a challenge. This is especially difficult. There's no easy way to describe what happened at this Tico power plant just a day ago. Tico CEO Gordon Gillette says six men, including one of his own employees, the other's contractors, attempted unclogging one of the burners when hot molten slag fell on them. Emergency crews found 40-year-old Christopher Irvin and 60-year-old Michael McCourt dead when they arrived. I can tell you that the loss of this employee and the contract, contract employee who passed are a huge loss for the TECO team. They rushed four others to the hospital with life-threatening burns. McCourt was about to celebrate 35 years as a senior plant operator. He was well-respected and well-liked by all of his fellow team members. Gillette says the procedure they were working on was fairly routine, but knowing exactly what went wrong may take time. And so we don't really have any any direct kind of eyewitness um, says that we can talk to at this time. The investigation could take weeks, even months. All of the victims were men, the youngest just 21 years old. We're told that most of the employees were back working at that plant today. It runs 24-7. Reporting live in Tampa, Bradley Gonzalez, ABC Action News.